guys, welcome to 12th and Perspective, a show completely run and produced by students at Texas A&M to give you an inside look on what's happening with Aggie Athletics on campus. I'm Erin Brown. And I'm Kelsey Geddick. First, let's take a look at Christina Sanchez Quintanar and see how she juggles being a student and a three-sport athlete. Hi, my name is Allie Bailey, and I'm here with Christina Sanchez, a three-sport athlete here at Texas A&M. Christina, tell us a little bit about where you're from and what brought you to Texas A&M. Well, um, I'm Olivia from Spain. I came to the States four years ago. Uh, I came because I had a I get a scholarship for to play tennis in University of Maryland. And how was your experience last semester playing on the soccer team? Oh, that was the best experience. Like when I came here, I was really sad when I transferred from Maryland here because I couldn't. Uh, I had to leave my soccer team there. And in order to focus on tennis, I couldn't. I, uh, my coach told me I couldn't play soccer anymore. So when they gave me the possibility after my last season of tennis to join the soccer team, uh, it was like, wow, I have to do it. I have another options, but it's like, oh, I, this is the last ch chance I have to play soccer here. Uh, so I'm gonna take it. What are your goals after you graduate in May? Well, I am thinking actually seriously about going pro in tennis. I think I improved a lot uh, in college. Uh, and if that doesn't work, my plan B is uh, going to graduate school. I want to do an MBA uh, before going back to, to Spain if I finally go back. Thank you, Christina, for spending some time with us and good luck with the rest of your basketball season. Wow, she really is such a great asset to Texas A&M Athletics. Yeah, no doubt juggling three sports takes a tremendous amount of talent and discipline. Now let's take a look at what's happening with Aggie basketball and sit down with Jamal Jones and Antoine Space. I'm Abby Kowal and I'm here with Antoine Space and Jamal Jones to talk about the Aggies' second season in the SEC. Now it's still pretty early in the conference. What, t what goals has this team set for the rest of the season? Uh, definitely just to win out. Um, we want to win in a... And uh, uh, we lost two games earlier, so we just want to win out, just want to rest our games and play hard. Uh, yeah, he's about right. You know, we just want to want to have a winning record, you know, going into the SEC tournament. If we don't win the conference during the conference season, we want to win the tournament for sure. Now you all have South Carolina and number seven Florida away next week. Take us through how the team prepares for away games. Uh, definitely get just focused. Um, we go through a, a pretty... Uh, scout, a, a good scouting report for our team, whoever our opponent may be. Um, our leaders of the team, like you know, Courtney, Jamal, kind of like gather us up and we just you know, pretty much talk about what we need to do and what we have to do to get the win. And y'all are a fairly young team. How do you feel this team has grown and matured since the beginning of the season? Um, we've grown a lot. Uh, our freshmen are definitely not playing like freshmen. Uh, me and Jamal came with transfers, so we didn't play D1 basketball last year. And uh, I feel like we've grown a lot through the season because of uh, encouragement and confidence given to us through our coaches. Uh, yeah, we're just really uh, all coming together and we're starting to figure it out. You know, our chemistry is really growing. Uh, the freshmen are stepping up along with uh, Courtney. You know, he's finally starting to play. And we just got to keep going and keep getting closer. And how does an environment like Kentucky, how, how does that environment prepare you for coming back home and playing another home game? definitely helps. Uh, playing like a place like Kentucky, which is supposed to be like kind of like one of the meccas of college basketball, and then going somewhere like South Carolina, it definitely helps like the young young man on our team and definitely helps me because you come from an environment like that and then go somewhere like South Carolina, you're kind of used to it already. So you're already prepared. Uh, I feel like we can play about anywhere. You know, Kentucky, we played in Tennessee, which had 18,000. So we're pretty good in front of big crowds. You know, we just got to stay focused and stay stay ready to win games. Be sure to come out to Reed Arena and support Aggies men's basketball as they continue their winning season. Now let's shift over to the highlight reel to take a look at the top plays in Aggie athletics this week. Alex Caruso takes the lead, driving hard down the lane, splitting the Vanderbilt stronghold, and taking it to the hoop. And then Caruso got a layup from the left side. Next we have Carla Gilbert battling hard for the rebound against Tennessee, resulting in a nice recovery and basket for the Aggies. Carla battling for the rebound, comes up with it, hook shot is up, it's in! Here's a look at Prezel Hardy's impressive finish in the men's 60-meter dash. 
Well, we really hope you enjoyed watching this week's episode of 12th Men Perspective. But don't forget, Aggie Baseball starts at Olsen Field February 14th. So come out for opening day and support Aggie Baseball. Thanks, Thanks and gig'em. Gig